Jay and Jay seem to have a really good relationship. I'm curious when he gets kind of juked, if you will, by Spencer Rattler, if you ever, you know, give him some crap for that. Nah, not during the game, because I really try to just, like, pick people up, you know, because we all hard on ourselves, so, like, I don't want nobody just, like, dwelling on a mistake they made whenever, like, they don't matter no more. So I try to just try to pick them up. Yeah, Curry mentioned that the two red zone touchdowns y'all gave up in the first half is just being huge, being down 11 and a half times. Just what, as a defense, y'all need to improve and you know, keep holding guys to field goals other than touchdowns in the red zone? Really just keying on our uh, our jobs. Really just everybody doing their job and uh, playing their part for real. You know, sometimes during the game when we would uh, like have a hole here and there, so we would just kind of try to bring that together and fix those mistakes. Sorry, Xavier Sorry is kind of coming into his own the last you know, few weeks after you know just being out, not being out, but just being kind of being off the field. Just what do you think about his progression and what kind of player is he in the locker room and, and just you know kind of like is he so he real athletic like you know you see it on the tape his athleticism is kind of like crazy you know and what kind of like person he is like Sawyer, one of my best friends you know me Sawyer, and pop are roommates so we all like came in together we've been close since freshman year so like to see us all out there playing together like that was what we dreamed of freshman year so it's been fun so i know you, you stay pretty focused but is there any point when you look up at the scoreboard and see you guys trailing at home 14 to 3 i mean there's been so much success so many wins in a row. I mean, is there ever a moment? Is it does it fuel you, or was it a little, I don't know, surreal to see yourself behind like that? Um, was it surreal? Uh, I mean, like times like that, of course, like we don't we ain't really expect it, but like it's a football, so you know you kind of gotta go with the unexpected and just keen and focus on what you gotta do to improve. Really, you can't really like sit there and be shocked in the moment because like that ain't gonna do nothing towards winning. Smile, I know you've obviously dealt with the offseason injury. What was you, the journey for you like to get back to playing, and how are you feeling you know, three weeks into the season? Uh, it was hard. It was real hard like from like a mental standpoint just because like, it kind of caught me off guard. But um, what was the second half of your question? Just what's if, how are you feeling right now, and I guess are you up to speed quicker than you maybe anticipated that you were going to be? Yeah, yeah, I came back quicker than I thought I would. But um, I'm feeling better. Like, it feels better and better every week. So just trying to keep improving. Yeah, Mike Kelly had a really big second half on Saturday. Was there anything, you know, at halftime that sort of indicated he was going to go out there and, and do what he ultimately did and sort of rally you guys defensively? Yeah. Um, anything specific? Not necessarily. We just went in there, got our game plan adjustments for the second half. And then, like, I feel like the defense as a unit kind of, like, you know, came together and just went out there and did what we were supposed to do. Again, Smile, not to get you too off track with Georgia, but there was a really late game with Deion Sanders. I just wonder, um, with a player like the former player like Deion and what's happening out there, is that something that, that you've paid attention to? Is it, is it entertaining? Is it something that catches your eye? Uh, yeah, it catches my eye for sure. You know, I feel like he's doing a real good job out there. On an overall look of kind of the defensive line, and especially Mike Hill's performance, I mean, how much does that open up your responsibilities, especially on that sack that, that you and Jamon got back there? How much does that open it up for you guys to really make plays and, and be able to do what you do best when the defensive line is getting as much pressure on the quarterback as they did, especially in that second half? Uh, it does a lot for us. You know, whenever the defensive line eating, it kind of like makes our job easier. So like uh, D-line and linebackers, I feel like we kind of work hand to hand. Small Saturday will be a, a long day with that 30 kick. What does that day look like for you, and then do you keep it up with these night games? Um, what the day looks like. Really just trying to uh, stay focused throughout the day, um, take care of my body throughout the day, uh, just do anything, um, do anything really that comes up that I got to do. You kind of touched on your relationship with, with Jamon Dumas Johnson. What is it like to have another year getting to play next to him um, and being able to start alongside him again just for another year? Yeah, it's, it's been real fun. You know, like I said, like since our freshman year, like we like talked about it, and like it's kind of crazy to see it like coming like coming to life, really, like the things we talked about and dreamed about. So it's been fun.
Kirby brought up the third and 16 screenplay that they scored a touchdown on to start the, the game last week. That he pointed to that as one of the first half mishaps that led to the way halftime was. What is the reaction that you all get on the sideline from coaches just when there is, I guess, a, a mishap like that? Just get the correction and then go out there and try to fix it. Really, you know, we don't really panic. Just, you can't panic at a time like that. You know, that's when everything's going to start getting worse. So just stay forward, stay focused, and go out there and play ball. Yeah, we've, we've heard multiple players this season. Kyle kind of mentioned Coach Schumann. He told me that, and then it happened. Do you have an example of like Schumann preparing you for something, and then it just like happened right in front of you? Yeah, um, it's kind of crazy how she would be doing that. Like, she was probably one of the smartest people I ever met. Like, uh, an example, my uh, my TFL versus TCU on that, like, stunt I ran um, when I tackled Max Duggan. Like, we had worked on that, like, all week. And then he told me he was going to try to call it whenever he seen a certain set. And then he called it. And then they ran the play that he called it for. So it was kind of crazy, like, seeing that happen. Wait from Vance Spence, right? High school. Yeah. Just what did you learn from him, and what did you take from him in Hall County, bringing your Georgia? Wait, how you know Coach Spence? I just looked it up. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Spence, I got a lot of love for Coach Spence. Like, um, I think my sophomore year when I started getting a lot of offers, we went like one and nine, and he was worried that I was going to like transfer. But I told him, I was like, man, I'm be locked in. So stayed and stuck with him. But Coach Spence taught me like a lot, like even like off the field, like just how to be like a better person, how to care for other people. So he t taught me like a lot off the field more than on the field, but he kind of gave me like that confidence, like when it came to like playing at the next level. Cause like, no disrespect, like no smaller school, but like I was gonna be happy going to like a school like FAU or like anything like that, like my freshman year, like that was like my dream. So like, Kosuma kind of showed me that like it's like a, not Shuma, but Spence kind of showed me it's like a bigger world out there. So he kind of like instilled a lot of confidence in me. So I love him for that. Yeah, smile. I think when I covered you in high school. Were working at Little Caesars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, did, what did working in high school teach you about you know, just responsibilities in general? Uh, it taught me a lot about responsibilities just because, like, you know, I got to get up and go to work. Like, I'm working with, like, grown men. Like, they got to, like, I mean, they're out there working, like, working hours trying to pay bills and stuff. I'm just trying to get a couple extra dollars. So it kind of, like, gave me, like, a different perspective on life. Questions. You talked a lot about you know coming in with Pops, coming in with uh, Xavier and stuff like that, and you came in with a lot of other guys, including Brock, including um, I mean Javon, so many guys of, uh, that were a part of your freshman class. I mean to be a part of a group that's now contributing at such a high level, what does it mean to again just be doing that? It's kind of like crazy because like, you know, college kind of flies by fast. Like everybody says it flies by, but you don't know until like you really experience it. Like it flew by. Like, I feel like it was just yesterday. So like us coming in as freshmen, not really knowing what's going on, like kind of lost to like where we're at now. Like it's been crazy. Any more for Smile? All right, Smile. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Smile.